welcome to Atlas. This is the start screen, sort of. You got your skill tabs, you've got your company, uh, tame groups, discoveries, and Atlas. We'll go through all that later. <laughs> okay, this is the Freeport Town. Uh, chose randomly, I guess. <laughs> it's in the desert apparently and yeah it's an art kind of thing so that's cool because I've got a lot of art background and I don't hate that it's art okay I'm looking for water because the water is ocean elephant and a rhino a whale yay uh, empty well, boo. Alright. Is this it? This is the water? Uh, what's in there? No water. Hmm. Okay. I gotta do something. But you can see the ocean. This is a, this is a great game. I can tell you, I've been playing. <laughs> this is the, the beginning. It's tedious, just like any survival game, you gotta start from the beginning. So I'm gonna start punching on some trees and gathering some bushes and food and stuff. Alright. I can't find the water. It says there's water, but there's no water. So, yeah. As you can see, I'm suffering from heat exhaustion already. I miss my canteen. I miss my recipes. For sure. There is nothing in here. It's just a hole. If I get in there, I won't be able to get out. Oh, fuck. Oh, Mr. Elephant. Where's the water? Where's the water? Oh, look. Some dead person? No, they're just sleeping. gonna die out here. Oh no. Oh cute turtle. Where's the freaking water? Now if anybody's been to this free point you know where the water is and you're laughing at me right now. I was laughing at myself when I look back on the video. <laughs> Maybe I can drink a cactus. Maybe these trees and bushes will have water in them. Oh man, I'm gonna die before I even get started. Now the good thing about the Freeport areas is that there's no hostels unless you attack, which I didn't know. Gotta find out. <laughs> Maybe this rock has some stone water in it. I don't know. Where's the water? What are you? Help! I can't see. I'm about to die. Maybe there's water and I just missed it. Maybe it's in town. Maybe there's a nice water lady there. Oh, sell me some water. I'll give her some stones and some sticks. Oh, yes, I'm dying, but I still have to work. Oh, God. Oh, oh there's a silence. Does this sell, like, ammunition? Oh, water barrel. No. No. Help! I need water! Help me! Uh oh. I hear it. I'm going. I'm fading. Explode. Help! 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 Blech. And I'm dead. But I have a nice tan. Alright, this is what happens when you die. You'll get familiar with the screen because that's all you do in Atlas is die. And you die a lot. So, respawn at home region. Well, yeah. Okay, I'm already overheating, but all my stats are full up, so that's good. And I lost everything. So, let me see if I can find my body. Maybe get all my stuff back. Well, was I uptown or downtown? 
I think I was uptown. Alright. I don't know what that guy sells, but he... He looks fancy. Oh, there I am. Oh, yay! Okay, cool. If you die, and this is going to be very helpful, is you get the blue light thingy so you know where your body is. This will save you a lot of time. Um, you know, trying not to die is the theme of Atlas. Try not to die. I can't get anything off my body. Great. Okay, I got my stuff back. Um... So, here's the skills. Water keeper. Yes, I want the ability to make a water skin. Except, except, since I didn't know anything about this, I, look in the wiki. It'll explain a lot about how this game works. It's different from Ark. It's not like engrams and stuff. You gotta find you got to figure out what you want and then follow the tree to get to that point. Let's see. Clothes. I would like to make some clothes. I think I can make a hat. But I, I need skins. That means I have to kill stuff to make clothes. Except for this hat. So I get a hat. Oh, look at my sexy shorts. My leader hosen with the ruffles on it. Because I'm a girl. Girls get ruffles. Okay. Alright. So, put the hat on the head. Oh, yay. Well, I'm not as bald. So, yeah. Okay. So, this is the basic skill set you get. You get that pick and the torch and the hatchet and the stuff. So, you got to build, you start building the tools. It's, it's like art. You get a basic stuff. So, here I am. I fast forwarded because it's boring. Um, I made me a torch. This thing you equip two ways. If you put it in your hot bar... But you don't want to hold it. It will strap to your back and illuminate you while you have your hands free. If you hold it in front of you, you get more light. So now I'm going to attack this old friend of chicken. It's an ostrich. And he didn't like that. And he, as you guessed, kicked my ass into the dirt. Alright, I'm dead again. Dang it. Okay, I'm on the dock. So now I gotta... Hi, guy. There's some man there. Alright, I gotta find my blue light. And it's back here. I'm a bull. There are no... Um, dinosaurs, just regular animals, and this stuff has different names, and but the function of it is is the same. So you just got to figure out what's what. But you'll you'll figure it out, like the. There's a little symbol icon in the top right corner of every engram. Yeah, if you'll notice to the right of me, I pass water more than once. <laughs> Look! <gasps> I discovered water! <laughs> but my water's full, so now I don't need it. Oh, a seagull! Yeah. I wonder if I can kill it. <laughs> I need hides for clothes. It's just a little bird. I'm hitting it with two. Two, two, two. And he's hitting me with eight. Two. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt too. 
Oh crap. I'm losing a fight with Seagull. Holy crap! That's right, I was killed by a seagull. But a level 100 seagull. Yeah, I got him about 60-40% uh, killed. <laughs> this is a recurring theme in the free port. All right, let's try again. Step one, try to kill something. It kills you. Step two, find your body. Step three, make nominal progress in the game. By this time, I'm like, which green light is it? That's from before, and now this one. So I'm dying faster than my body can decompose. Ah, uh, water. Um, okay, there I am. The circle has a, a, a the light has a big thing around it, so you kind of have to look for your body sometimes. And if it glitches under stuff, you're screwed. I got my hat back. Ugh, and my hatchet and my thing. Okay, so seagulls are deadly and I'm certainly not going to be poking on a rhino or a bull or elephant or nothing. I got to find something little that... <gasps> Ooh. Uh, what is that? It's a sheep. <gasps> what are all these fires? Okay. I don't know. Just other people on a server look like somebody nearly froze to death. Okie dokie. Sheep. Are you going to kill me with those horns? I need your hides. Oh no, he runs. Yay. Something I can kill. If I can catch it. Oh, this is... Where'd he go? Oh, another fire. Up, up. There he goes. Okay, so good news is that when something is engaged, it has this green bar over its head, so you can find it. Come back in. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let me kill you. Stand still. Oh, jumping in the water. Yay, slows down. It's brutal. 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 Get me. Come, wait, come here. Oh, he swims faster. Come on. Get back in the water. Get back in the water. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, take forever. Oh, man. I miss my ascendant shotgun. Yeah, I miss my dragon. Come here. Come here. This is exhausting. Where's the level 2 dodos? That's what I need. Not a level 30 sheep with the crappy ass patching of my skills. Oh, this is old school. Come here. Come here. Stand still. Explain to me how something can be half dead and it's still running at full speed. It should be slowing down. Blood loss. Come on. Maybe it's the adrenaline keeping it going. Go! Well, at least you know where it is. You don't really lose it unless it goes out of range like it just did. Where'd it go? To the left. Look more. There you go. Ha ha! Have you trapped? Back in the water. Come on, hurry, get it killed. I don't want to chase it around. Oh, looky, it got better a little bit. It's like one of those tames, like a Pego Mastex, if you don't keep on top of it. And... Oh, I got you now. The health bar fills back up. That's right, they recover really quick. Amazing. I want whatever doctor these sheep have. Come here. Oh, 
attach it with two damage. Oh, poor thing. I'm sorry. I would mercifully kill you with one shot. Unfortunately, I gotta hack you to death with this. Oh, great. Now I'm gonna drown. Walk. Wow. One or two more strokes. And he's a dead duck. Wow. That's a lot of work. And I better hurry because he's getting better. I want full stamina because I want to finish this. Here I come. Sorry. But not sorry. Oh. oh yes. Die up there. No, come back. See, it's getting better. Come on. <laughs> uh oh, he's sinking. The water speed is way different than, than land. It's more like the earthquake on aberration. Kind of, you know, you're not stable in the water at all. Now you have to remember too that this is like early stuff. There's patching and fixing and all kinds of stuff. So, <sighs> All right. Last push. Let's kill this. Let's do it. Do it. Ha ah, ha! I did it! By accident. You can drag the body. I'm getting fleece and animal meat. Thank you very much. I need hides. I can't re ever remember which one gives which. I have so many... Um, memory spaces in my head. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, I can make a water skin. Top of the list. Water skin. And I will fill my water skin. I hope it's not as leaky as the other one used to be. I can make pants and shoes. I think I'll make shoes. Let's see what else. Um... Put my shoes on. Um, gloves, pants. I think pants. Uh, so let's do the pants. I don't have enough to do a shirt or the gloves, so that's okay. Ooh, arg. Who? Very, very nice, very nice. All right, we're making progress. Um, as you'll notice, there's a variety of veggies and berries and meat and all kinds of stuff. I need to make, okay, got my hat back on, because I died so many times. Every time you dye your clothes, of course, when you take them off, they go into your inventory. You have to put them back on. I did that a lot. <sighs> okay. I need to make... What's this? Oh, it's my compass. Hmm. Alright, something I didn't remember is that if you... I think if you right-click and left-click will bring them in. I learned this later. So, I haven't discovered anything, and I can't read my compass, so yay. Um, but if you right-click or left-click, those maps will come forward, and you can read them better. Alright, that's my torch. Alright. Now, the weapons, you can only carry one at a time, sort of. Depends on what it is. It's a very complicated system. I do let you know right off the bat something I learned <laughs> about the tool hotbar is that there's a cooldown on these weapons and and they go by the slot number one two three four so the first one will start the countdown first and you know get done and then it goes on to two three and four so put your most important things you want available immediately in the first positions on down the line so the most important like your weapon or your tool or whatever you're using 
goes in one and then so you'll be switching them around not like oh I learned tools of the trade what does that give me uh nothing because I only have one point available uh, all right enough I gotta do some stuff the best way to level is Harvesting, building, crafting, blah, blah, blah. I don't see any more sheep. This sucks. Okay. And I have to let you know, I'm not by myself. I'm by myself at the moment because everybody that I play with is already on, like yesterday. So, I'm behind. And... I'll tell you right now, these people that are putting out these videos saying that it's crappy and all this stuff, they're doing that on purpose. I'll just put that out there. The graphics are great. It, it depends on your computer. Maybe not on purpose. I wouldn't say that. I was just saying that they'll put all the... Um, if your computer is not really good, I can see where this game would, you know, stink. So, as far as graphics and how it looks visually... I think they're patching it really well, so maybe I'm late to the game. Alright, you see the torch is on my back now. So I can still use my tools in my hand. Alright, uh, another thing. In your inventory are in the fruits and vegetables, the berries, the meat, all these have vitamins or whatever. On the right hand side in the X where it says this colorful little bar, those are your vitamins. The first one is, uh, let's say the blue one is fish. The orange one next to it is um, like berries. The red one next to that, or pink, is meat, like flesh, and then the green one is green veggies. So you have to get a balanced diet. You can't just eat one thing and that's it. You have to have meat, fish, berries, and greens. And try to keep those bars even. If you do, you'll get a vitamin buff. If you try to eat only one food and you OD on it, you'll get sick. If you overeat, you'll get sick. If you undereat, you'll die. Okay, I'm going to make a fireplace because I'm going to cook this meat before it goes bad because it's one of the things. You don't have to eat like 10 pieces of anything anymore either. You can eat a couple of everything and that should keep your your food where it, should, where it needs to be like so. You know, you eat a couple of fish, you eat a couple of meat, a couple of greens, a couple of berries, and you should be okay. Aw, Mr. Elephant. Uh, I'm not gonna make him mad. Alright, so what I'm supposed to do is kind of get my character up to speed. What I need to do is build a boat and uh or raft i should say build a raft so i can meet up with my my crew are coming here they're already out and about so they're going to come by here and and we're going to go together to an, a new place a new island i'm just trying to stay alive and and up my character so i'm eating me now, everything I told you, I didn't know any of this. It's just from playing. So I thought, oh yeah, I'll just cram up on these. But I ended up... So, you have to eat, like, from the four food groups. Oh, and another thing. Your body will give you skin and meat. Gross as that sounds, but... It is a, a resource that you can adjust to. 
fresh water only for drinking and yes if you jump in it you get what you get your water filled up same as art and same thing if it rains now another thing too is this freeport area where there's no aggressiveness or whatever unless you start it you can only level up to level eight when you first start <gasps> there's my crew and i have to go down and i have to uh get invited hello i hope you're my crew <gasps> yes my cute little crew four man crew five man soon all right hey they already have their rafts because they were here yesterday they, they've been doing their thing so oh this is very important at the beginning you're going to be running into each other quite a bit and note to the wise as you'll see later please 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 do not park near the pier unless you want your ship destroyed because it's almost impossible to get out again. Hello, dear. How are you? Oh, you look great. I would love to join the Dodo Frodo's. Da da da! Yay! Woo -woo. As you see, the stars over their heads. Those are admins because we have our own cluster. Um. Gamusa.de. If you want to join, come play. Um, it's mostly a German site, but I speak English, obviously, and most of them do too. So, you know, it's international. Come, everybody is welcome. Okay. So. You can only level uh, to level... Um, let's say eight in this freehold and then you have to go discover uh, new territories new new free free towns or whatever in order to keep leveling up you can't just stay in one spot in a free place and level your character up to infinity Right now, they're picking me up. We're going to go to another free town so we can all level up a little bit more. I'm just going over some stuff, but that's basically it. You, you start off in a town, you level your character up as much as you can, and get you a company, you know, get you some friends to play with. And I mean, you can do it on your own. You can hire people and stuff, but I love this game. I didn't, don't listen to the negative because the best is yet to come. Look at this ocean. Unbelievable fun awaits. Look at this. Yeah, this is the reason I bought this game is because of this ocean and this water and this sailing and the pirates and the, the whole thing. I love it, I love it, love it, love it. Give it a chance. Don't listen to other people and what they're telling you okay make up your own mind let's just put it that way the sailing system oh that, don't get me started they have fixed some issues with it but basically there's no rudder and you run everything from the mast um, I haven't built my boat yet we're gonna go to the free port and then I'm gonna level up some more and build you know we'll build up from there we're going to go to a town that's halfway to an island they they kind of like. So we're going to set up camp there. Okay. Can't wait. The adventure begins. So I think we will end the episode here. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe and smash that bell to get notifications of my next upload. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye!